Okay, so how is it going guys? I've had a number of questions regarding what I use on my desktop. Why does it look so cool? Basically, I use this third party bit of software called Rocket Dock and it's really cool, it's really basic to get started with and uh, I'm going to basically do you a little tutorial about tips and tricks for it and uh, we'll get you guys set up with it, let's go. Okay, so without further ado, we're going to walk you through the process. Firstly, you're going to download Rocket Dock. Obviously, you go to the Rocket Dock website, then save it to your downloads file. Okay, next you're going to open it up, you're going to run the program, select the language and all that. Obviously, I'm not going to install it myself as I already have it installed. Then you're going to go to start, you're going to find it in the programs, and then what you're going to do is you're going to drag it onto your start or pin it to the start to make it easier to work with. You click that button to run the program and it should launch a basic bar. It won't look like this, but it will have basic logos and icons on. Go to the general tab make sure this box is ticked and run at startup so you don't have to keep on going into it every time you start okay so if you look initially you can see all these different options for the uh, low uh, for the icons and everything like that and there are three ways that you can install icons you can either go to the website and download icons manually and then put them in a folder or you can make your own or you could just drag and drop onto the thing like we're doing now the easiest way is as you can see to drag and drop icons from the desktop straight onto the bar and that will work just fine the problem with adding these icons on from the uh, desktop is that they're pretty low resolution so if you want the higher resolution icons you're going to have to go online find a picture or go to the rocket dock website and you will find some very high quality uh, icons from some really great creators so if we scroll through you can see there's so many find one you like I'm going to use a Google Chrome one you hit the download you go straight into your downloads folder then obviously you open it up you're going to have to unzip it in this particular case as there's more than one logo in the package obviously you can get individual icons so here we go here are the icons in the downloads folder you're going to select the folder you're going to cut it and then you're going to have to go and find where the rocket dock is installed you see by default it will probably be on your c drive but obviously i have a kind of separate hard drive so for me it's slightly different but c program files by default this is the folder you need you're going to stick it down there paste it and that's kind of done now so if you go back into the icon right click icon settings you can now replace this rubbish icon for the new icon if you go into the folders on the left you will find the folders you've installed there's the very nice Google Chrome logo which is gold looks very nice very high quality and uh, you know just for bounce I'm gonna set it so when you click on it it goes to Google New Zealand you know just just for bounce and all that so there you go you see you can click on it it goes straight to Google New Zealand you can do that with any link whatever you want it when it's to do so you know you can go straight to whatever website you want okay and you can also rename it which is quite cool so now I'm gonna change the icon to one of the icons I created myself as one of my mates I, I nicked it from his Facebook profile as you do uh, and all you do for that is you just make the icon and find it wherever that and then you put it straight in the folder like this now okay so what I'm gonna do here I've, I've Google searched for snakes the target for this icon is now going to be snake so you know when he comes around to look at my computer I'm going to click on his face and it takes you straight to the snakes page you know nice so how would you create these icons for yourself then because bear in mind they have to have a transparent background you don't want square icons because they're like rubbish so you're going to go into a program like GIMP or something like that I use GIMP version 2 all you're going to do is you're going to go around use the select tool to select it and then you're going to select from path go to select invert so you're selecting what's outside of your selection rather than inside then you press the uh, control x which will get rid of everything around it and then you're left with this kind of transparent little background which is what you want then you're going to go and cut out um, the kind of all the space on the outside you don't want a lot of space around the outside of your logo otherwise it'll look fairly silly when you put it on the actual bar and the actual dock you're going to save it wherever you want and then you're going to paste it back into that same folder for icons and there you go Bob's your uncle straight down onto that bar it looks fantastic so you can have whatever you want so you could basically go and download a pack of just red and black logos and that would look pretty fantastic but you know the same thing if you want to change the dock and play around the settings all you have to do is go into uh, go onto the site go to the rocket dock site go into uh, the skins um, or docklets if you want more functionality download what you want and slap it in the corresponding folder you know it might be worth reading the readme if you have some animated logos but otherwise it's very straightforward so have a play you, know, you can change the position if you want it at the top or bottom of your screen there's so much you can do with it just a quick little tutorial for you there and uh, i hope you have fun messing around with it see you next time